Hello? How was Triforce? It was good. Um, we got uh, we got another one done. Another one's done. Another one bites the dust, baby. Um, how are you guys doing? I um I have leave to stream uh, right after the Triforce for about three hours or so. Kind of similar to yesterday, you know. We'll be all leave around the same sort of time. Um, just because uh, we have a lot to do. <clears throat> with the babby, but it's good to be streaming pretty much every day this week so far. It's been nice Have I had any sleep lately? I've had some sleep, but it's very interrupted every two to three hours. I'm woken up to Go downstairs and make a bottle or feed a baby or do a diaper change or whatever. It's um, It's I'm not gonna lie. It's tough in the first couple of weeks for sure, but it does sort of level off after a while. It's not forever, you know? It's, yeah, it's hashtag dad life for sure. What's the diaper count now? I can't even. It's so many. Just like, we've gone through an entire pack of uh, nappy bags and stuff like, oh man, it's just non-stop. Yeah. When is the fourth baby coming? Oh my god, it's too soon. I really enjoyed the big break from the sip streams. Planning on any vacations in the future? <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, once, um, once everybody is, like, um, like, more able to travel and stuff again, um, yeah, we're gonna do some, some big-ass travels, for sure. And, um, I'm gonna, I'm old, so I'll probably retire soon, too, so. My dad life is trying to get our three-year-old to do a COVID test with little success. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gosh. Uh, that's, uh, that's intense, for sure. Uh, listen, we're going to try out Project Zomboid, a game that is uh, difficult, notoriously difficult. Um, but feels like there's so much in it that could be so much fun. Um, a lot of the kind of stuff that we like, right? Like uh, building a base and surviving against the odds and all that kind of stuff. It is spooky. It's tough. I don't really know where we need to go. Look, I have a map. Okay, I have this big map um, here. Let me go to live so you can see this map that I'm looking at right now. So this is a map of the area. So you have like um, all of these like little towns, right? And I think this is the one that we normally, this is the first one, right? That has the lumber mill. So you'd normally spawn in one of the houses down here. And I guess the, the idea would be to make your way up to here where there's less zombies. And there's all sorts of goodies to get from these warehouses and stuff. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But I was also thinking, what if we we made our way up to this lake area and did like a wilderness boy sort of thing, right? You know, just got out here. There's no zombies out here in the middle of the wilderness. There's drinking water around. Um, we'd be. Can you drink from the lake? Build your own house. Um, you know, work on, on skills and stuff like that. You, can you actually drink from the lake? You gotta boil the water first. Right, okay, so you can put lake water into like a, like a cooking pan, for example. And then boil it on a fire. Because we could do this, right? Like, we could set up our base at the end of this road, for example. Which would be great for future um, sort of stuff or we could just live out here at this little shack there's probably not too many zombies out here like on these dirt paths and stuff but then we wouldn't have any water the problem is is there's so many zombies right like when you get close to town there's millions of them and it's hard to sort of sneak around town and at, at at first right you'd need a dad car for sure Okay, have I seen the new season of Ted Lasso? Yes, I've been watching it and I've been enjoying it as well. I have been enjoying it for sure. So there's a couple of spots that we could make our way to. Um, I think I've died up here before. Where where was it that I died? I The last time I played this, I died around here. Construction site. So I was approaching the construction site from here because I missed the sawmill. I was working my way up this road, and it turns out that around the construction site, and indeed in this wooded area here, there's quite a few zombies, and I was killed out here. Um, so I never even got a chance to get into the construction site. I was going to try to check out some of these places here. I mean, there's a 
there's a porta potty out here and stuff, for example, which is pretty good. What about Big Timber on Netflix? No, I haven't seen Big Timber on Netflix. I don't know what that is. Someone has made a dude sim knockoff called Open Country. Have you seen it? I've seen it. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a Microsoft Studios game though. It's not. It's not somebody made a knockoff. It's this is like a it's like a big studio made that game. If you're cornered by two Zambinis, you're done. Yeah, I know. It's it's a tough one, isn't it? This is kind of like the old this is where people tend to like to start out, right? You can come up here and there's like bathrooms to get water from. There's like a microwave. You can kind of live in this area or here or even at a push in the little um in the, in here, you could live in here if you wanted to you make your way over here, because there's not that many zombies up here, right? Right? Like even the last time we played this, I'm pretty sure we came up here with like when we did the multiplayer. There's people up here, right? You live right here, so should we should we make it a point to get up here at least, and then further on from that, if we decide we want to do the nature boy, we can head over there. Does that sound like a sound like a decent enough plan? Okay. I'll have my map open so that I can see it. Right? So that we'll never get lost. Hell yeah. All right. Um, solo then. Uh, Playstyle Apocalypse, Survivor Builder, or Custom Sandbox. We're playing on Build 41, which has a whole bunch of new stuff in it. Um, lots of new stuff. They've overhauled a bunch of the systems and stuff, right? Did you see the guy who spent this whole time in one house? No, I haven't seen that. Is it possible to do that? Do the nature boy. Oh, is that the guy that built like a farms on the roof and stuff of the house? He 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 went carpentry so that he could like bust a hole in the roof and build a staircase up there and then put dirt on the roof. He couldn't leave the house, but he could dig dirt from the windows and the doors and stuff. Yeah, I've seen that. That's funny, actually. Uh, Apocalypse. I actually watched a series by that guy, too. Was it, was it Ambitious Amphibian or something like that? A amphibian amphibian he's very funny ambiguous amphibian that's the one yeah he's he's very funny isn't he his uh his editing and stuff and the uh the whole like philosophy bit and stuff is 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 pretty funny yeah wilsonator loves this game too um what do we want to do here apocalypse survivor builder probably survivor right survivor is like the the default game or is apocalypse the, is is the default game stealth focus short lifespan combat best avoided which one do we go for any any does it matter hey what's up spiff how you doing survivor is default okay let's do survivor then we don't want to do a challenge we don't have any mods next uh we'll do mold draw uh kentucky is it kentucky yeah, it's Kentucky. Biscuits this side of Kentucky. Okay, so Muldraw spawns us in the the sort of residential area where we could get to the to the sawmill and stuff, right? Thief is hands down best class, so you can hotwire cars. I've never even driven a car in this game before. The uh, the UI is very small in this game as well, right? Like, is there a way to make it bigger? Or because you guys won't be able to read any of this shit. No? Maybe? Possibly? Hello? It's barely readable. Should I... Uh, I can increase it. Okay, let me do that before we start then. Uh, options. Um, display. Um, door shaking on hit. Puddles quality. You're doing great, Dad. UI off screen rendering. UI rendering FPS. We're looking for UI scale, right? Where is that? Zoom levels? Auto zoom? You can level electricity and mechanics to hotwire cars without being a burglar. You can't read anyway. Okay. Maybe it's in this. Controller key bindings? No, it's got to be display, right? Font size. Blood, blood decals. Font size, font size. 
I don't see a font size anywhere. Is it like in that? Oh, do we want Fahrenheit temperature display? No, we want Celsius. I don't understand Fahrenheit at all. I don't it means nothing to me? Lock the frame rate. UI rendering FPS? No. Cursor visibility? I don't see this font size anywhere. Where can it be? Lighting updates? Oh, it's accessibility. Oh, sorry. Um, single context menu. Cycle container key. No, it's not in um, accessibility at all. You set the chat box where I was. Vertical sync lock cursor to window. Uh, I don't see it anywhere. <clears throat> Double size textures. No. Auto zoom. Pan camera while aiming. Environment reflections. Check boxes under them. What does that mean? These ones here. Zoom levels. Oh, inventory font. Font size. Four times. Apply. Reloading Lua. Hey, there we go. Is that is four times too big now, do you think? Let's try three instead. How's that? Solo. Survivor. Muldraw. Okay. You guys can actually see stuff now? Perfect? Okay, good. All right, so this, the whole uh, traits thing, you have to have, if you want to have positives, you have to balance it out, right? You have to have your points at zero. So you, if you want positives, you have to then take negatives and stuff as well. What do we want to do? I think we want to have like, um, if we're going to live out in the wilderness, I want to be good at foraging so that we can find good stuff, right? We can forage for food, sticks, stones, all that kind of stuff. You can do exercises in this game now, like burpees. Yes, I know. You can, yeah. Park Ranger. You think Park Ranger is the way, way to go? Lumberjack could be a good one too, right? Where's Park Ranger? Park Ranger gives us axe, carpentry, foraging, foraging and trapping. We just need to make up a deficit of four points. Drives very slow, transfers inventory items slowly, makes more noise when moving, especially prone to becoming panicked. Smaller view distance, slower visibility fade, takes longer to read books, high chance to have food, food illness. Slow reader seems like we could add that, right? We'll add slow reader. Actually, before we do that, let's just see what some of these plus four ones are, right? Gets panicked when outdoors, gets panicked when indoors, more likely to be spotted by zombies, decreased container inventory capacity, hard of hearing, hearty appetite, pacifist, Prone illness, sleepy head, needs more sleep, smoker, unlucky, asthmatic, Jesus Christ, obese, unfit, deaf, <laughs> some of these are going to be the worst, right? Decreased XP games, recover slowly from injuries and illnesses, slow loss of tiredness while sleeping, what about overweight, reduced running speed, low endurance and prone to injury, feeble, <laughs> less knockback from melee weapons, some of these are all brutal. <laughs> Some of these are all. All of these are kind of brutal. No? Take blind. No, no, I don't want to take blind. Maybe maybe we go de decrease container inventory capacity. Disorganize. That's going to hit that's going to hit us though at some point, right? It's going to be annoying. What about drive slow? We have to make up 4 points though. Makes more noise when moving. Overweight or obese. Reduce running speed, low endurance, and prone to injury. That's a plus six. So if we add overweight to this, then we can add two more points, right? Um, what two points do we want? Not affected by harsh, harsh weather conditions. If we're a park ranger, that could be really good for us, right? Fast reader, dexterous. Okay, yeah. Let's go for outdoorsman as well. There we go. Okay. Yes? 
Our name is going to be Octavia Galant. Okay. Actually, our name is going to be Old Hogan. Okay, this is going to be... this is. We're going to see if we can pull it off with Old Hogan. Skin color has to be... Hair color has got to be like this. Um, idle? Walk. How do you make it not a grill? Female, male, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, we just need a different type of beard here. Chops. What about a goatee? Greased back hair. We want the um, mullet. The recede. I don't know. I think the receipt is still a bit too generous, right? That's the bald spot. Braids, the bouffon. Oh, the bouffon is nice, actually. What about a, a, a buzz cut? A Donnie. <laughs> what about a, 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 a Fabian? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Grease back, grungy. Grungy behind ears. Left parting, long braids. Messy. It's got to be a uh, short, short afro, short. It's got to be the recede, I guess, right? No, it's got to be the bald spot for sure. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Okay. Old Hogan with his park ranger attire on. He's ready to go. Um, we could give him some shorts, actually. Some yellow shorts. Is it yellow shorts and it oh no it's red shorts isn't it it's red shorts and then a yellow uh, yellow top okay the t-shirt his t-shirt is gonna be a long sleeve it's gotta be like a tank top though right <laughs> he's got some socks on too he's got some socks what kind of socks what color can his socks be yellow again Oh, hell yeah. And his shoes type. Type 1. Perfect. Man, he's looking really good. Can you get better shorts than this? Denim shorts. Oh, ho, ho, shit. You can get some denim shorts. The name reverted back. Oh, how did that happen? Old. Old Hogan. Okay. Okay, are we good? We're good. We're starting. Mustard and ketchup clothes. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Okay. Farming for literature. Let's grab it. Uh, what else do we want? A can opener, for sure. Um, we don't need a butter knife for now. Salt and pepper. A broom? Should we use a broom as a weapon for now? Okay. That'll be good, right? And then let's also grab this tote bag, too. We might need a tote bag. Baking pan. We're going to need an empty cooking pot, for sure. Possibly an empty kettle, too. And let's grab one dish towel. Some bottled water. Very good. Okay, let's just clear out. Okay, we don't need any of this crap. There's some headphones and a bucket hat. Very nice. Okay, here we go. What's in here? The bathroom. Okay. See if there's some... There's a razor in here. Let's grab it. Let's have a quick... Let's fill our water bottle with some water. Gonna need it. Looking good. Yeah, I know. We're off to such a fine start here. Okay, I think I've gotten everything in the house more or less. There's like a little room here that I can't quite get into. What's it looking like outside? Climb through the window. 
Okay, let me see if I can find where I am. It's going to be tough. Um, it looks like I'm in... There's like a house directly across the street from me. And it is a... I think we're, we're kind of central here by the looks of it. I'm looking at the map here to try to find out where I am so I know roughly where to go. I think that we're not here. It's got to be like around here, right? We're looking for a fence. It's this place here, is it not? Yeah, this is it, right? This is the place. All right, so if we cut up. So we want to go down the road this way and sort of cut up past Knox Bank. And then we can make it into this lumber yard, right? Equally, if we get onto this road over here, so we go up the road, we'd hang a right by the storage buildings and then go straight up this way and then duck into the woods to get rid of all the bad guys. There is a little house here too, but I don't know if there's lots of zombies around there. Maybe that'll be the route, yeah? Hang a right. Okay, and then once we've done that, we get to the main road and then we head up the main road. It's going to be it's going to be quite the trek. It's going to be it's going to be quite the trek and there's going to be a lot of danger all, along the way. All we have is a broom. Once we can get out into the wilderness though and do some foraging, I think we'll be fine, right? Okay, let's sneak around a little. I think they've seen me already, by the way. This game is kind of spooky, though, isn't it? I mean, I find it pretty spooky. Okay, they have seen me. Uh-oh. They've really seen me. Okay, we're running. We're gonna... We're not gonna run the full time, though, okay? We're just gonna... We can walk away from them. They're slow, the zombies. We're gonna stay off the road a little bit and try to make it to our destination. He's dead. No, no, no. Come on. Okay, this is the road that we cut up. Gotta make it to the storage thing. We gotta make sure that we're not all tuckered out. We don't want to get all, all tuckered out. Before we reach the... Shit, I've gone the wrong way already. I think this is the right way. I'm lost already, by the way. Come on, old Hogan. Maintain. Maintain. He's petrified. He's absolutely petrified, this poor guy. Can't believe it. A dad never admits that he's lost? No, I mean, true, but... Okay, where am I right now? What is this big parking lot that I'm in? So I went up from the house here and I'm currently in some sort of, it looks like a parking lot with a, oh, I see where I am. Okay, we're near the chapel. So if I keep heading up this road, okay, I'm not lost. I'm exactly where I wanted to be. So we go across the main road, the, the four lane road. Then there's another strip of road and then we'll make it to a bit of, road that we want to turn right on and then there's the little shack in there too okay let's keep going it's lights hope chapel i heard they're reforming the dawn guard okay here we go we're going all the way up to the main road here we're gonna cross over Do we want to fight this guy? Got him. Okay, let's run. He stole his jewelry. The broom is broken now. We swept him up good, yeah. Okay, here's the big, the big road. We've got to cross over here. Always running. 
gonna have to stop and do some foraging at some point, but for now we're good. Okay, let's sneak into here. Okay, we're on the right we're on the right track here, by the way. We're just gonna sneak away. I think in this area is where this little house is. Yeah, there's like a little house in here. I don't know how safe it would be to set up in here. Equally, I don't know if there's any zombies in here. It's like a little kiosk or something. Try to hide in here. Oh gosh. Here they are, right behind me. I must dash. In the shitter. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna make our way up over here to... There should be like a dirt road that we can take. Okay. Not a good sign. Alright, old Hogan. Stay on target. Are there bad guys normally in these woods, do you think? We'll hear them. Whew. Okay, good. So now we're on this path that will lead us to the 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 mill. The 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 lumber mill. Okay, let's have a little rest. Okay, good. Okay, we got rid of our exertion. Nice. There are enemies in the rift room? Don't even. Okay, how am I doing health-wise? Overall body status? Okay. I'm doing... I'm looking good. Um... I've got fitness and strength. My weight is 95. 95 kilograms. I have an okay body. Yeah. A hot, a hot okay body. All right, here's the lumber yard. Can we hop the fence? How do you... Can you not climb a fence? Oh, you gotta press E. Oh, E. Okay, good. Okay, fence climbed. Do we need to be careful in here? Are there bad guys around? Just a few? No, no, E worked. Shift is to run. And you can you can hurdle over small fences now, I think, as well. Okay, now that I'm here, um, I must be... Okay, so the little cabin is over this way. Let's go check out the little cabin. You can't climb on these bits here. Oh yeah, here's the toilets and stuff too. Do you think that there's going to be some BGs around here? Some bad guys? Find a weapon and some food. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. This, we might make this our home for now. Let's have a look in the windows here. Uh oh. Is that a cop? It's like a security guard or something. Uh, it's locked. Okay, let's just rest here a sec. This guy can't break out of here, right? I'm gonna need a weapon or something to fight him, right? Is there anyone in here?
Do we dare smash the window? There's some garbage bags here. Can we pick up this pylon? No. Okay, what if I do some uh, foraging? I can't seem to, f to forage around here at all. There's no foraging to be done. Can, you can disassemble these things, I think. What do you think my chances are of, like, knocking this guy over and then beating him? I need something to smash the, uh, the window with, though, too. It's a 50-50. I don't want to die, though. This is so walled off, it's nice, isn't it? There's like an, a container over here. There might be something in here. Is there any bad guys in here? Oh, you can't even get in. Oh, it's locked. There's probably a key in the little, um, in the little hut, isn't there? Just use my magic spacebar spam. Can I break the window without hurting myself though? Probably not, right? Oh, here we go. There's probably something in here. There's a battery. Box of nails. Some potato seeds. We'll take the potato seeds. Um, there's a tent peg and a, and a tarp. Actually, we'll take the tarp too, right? We're getting hungry. No. The box of nails is probably really good. Well, remind me that they're there and we'll go get them after. You can't use the peg as a weapon, though. No. It would say weapon, if you could. Okay, if we're gonna smash any window, let's smash this one and get into this place. First. We can always rip our t-shirt up to make bandages if we injure ourselves, right? Oh, I can't remove the glass. That for to remove the glass, you need a uh, an item. Fudge! Now we made a whole bunch of noise as well. The McCoy Logging Co. Okay, so let's head over this way then to these offices and stuff, and then we'll come back here after and kill that guy because he's got a shotgun and stuff, right? I'm bleeding. Oh yeah, my left hand is scratched and I'm bleeding. Damn. All right, where's this dish towel? We're going to have to... Um... Oh, if we equip the dish towel as our primary, we can probably get rid of the glass, right? You think we're going to bleed out here? We're going to get infected. No, we haven't been bitten. Okay, there's a flashlight here and a radio. That's it. Shit, that's annoying. All right, we're gonna have to take our long socks off.
Um, and we're going to have to bandage with ripped sheets our left hand. Damn. <laughs> My all American socks are gone. So many sock bandages. Well, it happens. It happens. Okay, I'm ready to, to take on this guy. I think there's. It's just the one. Sorry, it's a woman. It appears to be a woman. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, I got her. A double holster? Hell yeah! Look at this, a nightstick? Oh, man. Okay. Police trooper pants? A police trooper shirt? Some new shoes? And a shotgun. Pretty good. Pretty good, we got it. Okay, nice. Okay, let's get this corpse out of here as well. Gross. Let's get this corpse and put it in the garbage. Can you even? Drop the corpse. Okay, that'll do. Okay, another thing that we want to do is we want to pick up this chair. Even though there's already some chairs in here. And then we want to place the chair. Not the radio. What's the next thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you not put it there? Does it have to go outside this chair? It must have to just go outside, right? No, I just can't place it. Hold button and move cursor to rotate the object. It takes time to place it? I see. Okay. Alright, let's have a drink. Let's check this these filing cabinets. There's a newspaper that we can read. We can make a newspaper hat. There's a blue pen and a rubber band. And an empty note. And there's just nothing in here. It's a garbage bag. Well, at least there's some drinking water, right? I'm bleeding again. Oh, my. I've been scratched on my right forearm as well. Okay, let's bandage up. We need to find some food. Don't die, I'm trying not to. High exertion, can barely jog. Just sit on the ground here for a minute. Sit on the ground for a long time. Moderate exertion. All right. We're no longer under the effects of high exertion. Is the music loud? It sounds a little bit loud, doesn't it? Audio? Music volume? We're, uh, we're, we got a very heavy load on us. This is why. Um, oh wait, where's my, um, 
nightstick. How do I set this to... Do I have to favorite it? Belt left. Okay, there we go. Got it. All right. Police officer Hogan is now on the beat. Citizens on patrol. Citizens on patrol. Let's see if there's some other perpetrators that we can arrest while we're out here. How do you, uh... How do you actually look in the trunk? Oh, here it is. Look. Empty pop can. There's a wrench. And a tire pump. Okay, we'll have to remember this. I actually think that this car is okay. We just don't have the key for it. So is that a working car? A working car that we can use? There's another tarp in here. Orange paint. Shotgun ammo. Let's grab all of these. Battery, a hammer we'll need. Let's put that on our belt. Some metal sheets, box of paper. Okay, good. I think this is the way that we want to go to get, yeah, we want to go up and out this way. Hitting the mother load, yeah. Put the shotgun on our back, can you do that? R rack? Oh yeah, so we want this on our back, right? And then we have the nightstick, okay. Uh oh, looks like we got company, but looks like it's just one dude. Okay, let's wear these socks. Let's wear this gold ring as well. And then let's rip up some of these clothes. Oh, actually, hang on. Do we want this lumberjack? To help us with the, with the weather. And some sneakers as well. Insulation, condition. Run speed modifier 1.1. <laughs> I love all the clothing options in this game. They're <laughs> so good. You can use space to kick them while they're down. So that you don't use up your the condition of my weapon. Alright. I don't have a gold chain as well. No. Sadly. Sadly I don't. Okay, we got some dirty bandages, but that's okay. There's a couple of uh, Zambonis here. Wow, there's quite a few Zambonis here. How, how come there's so many of them? We can't fight two at once, I don't think, right? Okay, looks like we're going to get one of them here and not the other. Wow. 
Oh, I see. So we just stomp them to death when they're down like that. God. It's like WrestleMania out here. Okay. Denim shorts. Okay, we'll try to get this guy down too. So we can clear ourselves a path. Do you have to like aim for their head when you're stomping on them? Jeez, it takes a long time, huh? Okay, let's put these on. Let's rip these up. We're gonna have to sit for a bit, even though there's more zombies there. We're exhausted and tired and hungry and we're in discomfort and in minor pain and we have an extremely heavy load. We're car carrying around way too much stuff, right? What's, uh, what's the heavy stuff that we've got here? This broom we could probably drop, right? What else can we drop? Some of this extra food? Uh, some of this stuff, I mean? These shirts and stuff that we've got? Shorts? Our old shorts? Yeah, it's all making a difference. We've got this wrench as well. We don't have anything we could put in the holster, right? Water bottle? We're not really thirsty right now. Shotgun shells, we got two pairs of shoes that we don't need to carry around with us either. Rip sheets, razor, potato seeds. You can read this newspaper. Old Hogan's going commando. I'm surprised at how many bad guys there are around here. We're gonna have to try to get in it we're gonna have to try to sneak through the middle. Just having a little break here. Flashlight, farming literature. We got a kettle and a cooking pot. I say let's get rid of the kettle for now. We'll remember that it's out here. Yeah, come back, back out and pick it up. Now we're not super over. We got a heavy load, but it's not too bad. Let's drop this out here too, actually. What else is weighing a lot? The flashlight? Dish towel? Let's dry ourselves first. Drop it. Some dirty rags. What else? I want to wear the large hoop earrings. They don't really weigh much. The tarp is is weighing a little bit though. Okay, and then this radio, we can drop it as well. Okay, good. Excessive exhaustion. Sit on the ground again for a bit. I think we're, oh God. Okay. What the hell? Just out of nowhere this guy comes in. We've been bitten. Don't worry, I got bandages. Oh my god. Please die already.
I sped up time to rest because I was super exhausted and then this guy just out of nowhere came at me. Now I can't kill him. Finally, he's dead. He's got cigarettes uh, and a butter knife as well. How am I doing here? Yeah, I'm infected. Shit. So we have to find like uh, some cleanser or something, right? Oh my god. This game is too hard, man. Holy shit. I wonder if I can sneak past these guys. There's too many there's too many bad guys. Listen, I think I've got a whole train of them behind me now. Oh no, why are there so many guys up here? This is too much. Usually this place is empty, right? This place is usually super empty. Oh no. This guy's gonna catch up to me too, look. He's got his tote bag and everything. Shit. I can hear them all behind me, yeah. Get the shotgun out. No, no, that's gonna make things worse. I thought coming up here would be safe, but it really is not. Don't look back. No, no, I'm not planning on it. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. I don't think the bullets are going to help, though. I have a, a, a finite amount. Okay. This is crazy. Why are there so many guys here? I've been up here before and it's like empty. Why are so many zombies spawned up here? Jesus. No, I know, the town is even worse, right, for zombies? You go in the town and there's just like millions of them. You think I can shake them off in the forest? Just blend in? Oh no. Oh, there's one there too. Oh god. Make it stop. Maybe we can lose them. Okay, what was our... Oh shit, there's one right behind me. Very close. He's still on me. This guy just won't give up. Okay, we want to head this way towards that lake, right? Hopefully there's no bad guys there. We can do some foraging. Sleep rough. Recover. still hear him. This is fine. I can't see shit. And I dropped all that really good stuff as well. So my exertion issues. I still hear him in the distance, but we're getting away from him now. Oh fuck, I can't see shit. I, I can't believe we're still alive, honestly. It's insane. I don't have the flashlight. I dropped it. Okay, here's the path. Okay, so the path that we're on right now is... Here... Okay. 
So we're close to the to the logging yard again. Which was pretty empty actually. So the lumber mill and that um the whatchamacallit. The little the little house thing, right? Have I tried just winning? Yeah. Every time, baby. The path to death. Just need to find somewhere safe that we can sleep in, right? Not make too much noise. All right. Let's hop the fence here. Too tired to hop the fence. <laughs> Let's just sleep on the ground. <laughs> oh, shit. We're sleeping on the ground, chat. So far, so good. I can hear gunshots. I wonder if we've kited them all out of that place now. This doesn't bode well. No. Um, our overall body status is okay. We might have to change these bandages. Maybe this car actually works. You can go over and... Uh, and, and take this place. Hey, Corey, thanks so much for the raid. And the host, I appreciate it. I hope you're good. Playing some Zomboid. Okay, do we want to check to in here in the glove box for the key? I don't know if you can do that, actually. How do you, how do you change seats when you're in the car? I make up a wallet and a red pen. There's no key in here. V. All right. Yeah, no, I checked the glove box where the key is not there. Sadly. Um, okay, what do I have? Uh, I have some ripped sheets. I have to rip up my socks as well. After I went to all that effort to get some new socks, I gotta rip them up. I gotta change my bandages. Need some clean bandages or we're gonna die, right? Try to get back into here again. Check the car's glove box? I did, I checked it. Okay, we have a laceration on our left hand. And on our right forearm we have nothing. Great. Okay, we're not gonna die. We just have a laceration. Just just a simple I, I hear a bad guy, but I don't know where he is. Oh here he is. No. Nope. We got too close to him. Ah, okay, let me wear these socks again. He's got some pink socks this time. Okay, and then let's rip this guy's clothing as well. For some more bandages. I don't know if they're dirty or not. We could try to clean them. We do have some bottled water. Uh, what else is up around here now? So we're coming out of here. There's the construction site, which might be busy. And then there's across the road here, there's these offices, but there were so many bad guys. We need some food. Keep more distance between you and them when you're fighting. You're gonna get killed again? I think we managed to kite a bunch of them down into the woods, so maybe there's not so many left up here, or do they return back to their original positions? I don't know. Visibility is really good here. Yeah, it looks like we kited a whole bunch of them away. 
We're carrying a little too much now. Okay, look, we might actually be able to get in here. It's locked. Looks like we got a zombie here. Okay, let's attract him out. He's got a, a nice hatchet. Okay, we're very hungry now. So we want to remove the broken glass and then climb through. See if we can find some food. Oh, there's a fresh banana. It's a fresh burger as well. And a fresh hot dog. Oh my god. Okay, let's grab this hot dog for later. Some chips here too. An orange soda as well. And a pop. Right, let's get all of it. Anyone out here? Let's have a drink. What's that noise? Is it the radio? There's welding rods, plank, metal sheets. Hello? Anybody in here? No? It's a plunger, strawberry tweezers. There's uh, adhesive bandages. Grab those, a bath towel. Oh my god. Another bath towel. There's a pipe wrench here, too. We have a hammer. Man, maybe we live here for a little bit. You should use the water to clean. Clean what? Clean this, these rags. Wash myself. Wash all my clothing. I don't have enough soap. I can wash myself though. I might feel better about myself after I have a nice wash. And turn the radio off too. Yeah, good call. Where is it? Device options? Yeah, because that's going to attract some bad guys too, right? In the first week, you get a lot of XP from TV. All right. I mean, we have lights and water and everything in here. I mean, we could just camp out here for a bit adhesive tape there's a nice wood axe a garden saw as well is really good we can saw some of these um these things down right i'm not infected no i don't think so i just have a dirty bandage on my left hand with a laceration underneath Okay, so I could disassemble this crate with a garden saw. I don't know if this is going to make too much noise or what. There's TV programs on at 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. I need a wristwatch, right, so I know what time it is.
Listen to my subs. What are they saying? Some nails and stuff here. There's a free plank here, too. Build a sundial. Can we get up onto the roof of this place and live up there? Is it possible? Isn't there a couch or something around here in one of these break rooms? I have a hammer, yeah. I have a saw and a hammer. I found one. Some more radios and stuff over here. Metal pipe and a metal sheet. Some nice racks here that we could store some stuff on. We could barricade up the smashed window for sure, yeah. For show, for show. I think we want to do a sweep and clear too. lock some of these doors so that nobody can get in can they they can eventually smash the doors down though right we could turn the lights on but it'll attract them right i can hear them all outside too Ah. Okay, let's see. There's a golf club here. There's a box of paper and a wire. You can't close those these uh these doors, right? Oh, yeah, you can. Nice. So we can close up all these doors and just live in here for a bit. Seems safe. We can get planks and nails and stuff from these crates if we need them so that we can build some more stuff. Or we can live in a car. Yeah, that's true actually. We could live in a car. We could live in a box. We could live in a cardboard box. Look, there's lots of hammers and planks and stuff. Lots of water. Food would be a problem though. We'd need to we need to set up some farming somewhere. Am I living in a box? Am I living in a cardboard box? Am I living in a box? Living Am I living in a cardboard box? This game has multiplayer, yeah, you can play it multiplayer. Okay, we're gonna have to have a rest. Maybe at one of these picnic tables, or maybe it's a bit safer to have one back here. We should board up this window too, if we're gonna stay here for a little bit. We do have a hot dog to eat if we're hungry. Um, can you Can you barricade it again? Or is it enough to just do it once. We might just have to sit on the ground. Whoops. Okay, let's sit on the ground back here to rest. Speed up the time. We're, we have some high exertion and we're tired as well. What was upstairs? There's nothing upstairs. We're getting bored. Okay, the exertion is passed off. We need some food. Let's eat this fresh hot dog. Good. We're very tired as well. Okay, we live in this bathroom now. So this book that we had, 
where was it? Farming for the one to two skill. Let's sit on the ground while we read this bad boy. Um, and then let's see our skills, our farming skills. We have no skills in farming right now, but because we're reading this, it's gonna give us an XP multiplier, right? Take a shit. All right, I will take one. I don't know if you can actually. We can wash our all of our clothing. We can fill our water bottle with toilet water. That's nice. Um, and then let's sleep on the ground. I hear people walking. A bath towel? Hello, is somebody out here? It's very dark. I definitely heard some footsteps out here. Huh. Okay, let me do a nightly a nightly patrol. See if we can. Bzz, uh oh, does that mean that the radio is trying to turn on? Yeah, it is. Gosh, it could have been a disaster. Chat. Just a garbage bag in there. Replace the bandage. See if we're still lacerated. Yeah, we are. Okay, let's use the adhesive bandages. That's nice. That's going to be real nice. Okay. Now what? Now what? We want it to be daytime so we can actually see out into the parking lot, right? Time to find a flashlight? Well, I know where there is one. I know where there is a flashlight. I don't know if it's going to help us much. I don't think we really want to be out there at night. At this point, we pivot to cups. Seems seems plausible. See if there's anything good in these places too. Metal pipe. There's another saw in here. Useful. There's another hammer. Okay, nothing in those. This is closed. Some glue. Oh, there's a propane torch here, too. That's useful. We'll need some propane, though. Do you think it's safe to... Oh. Oh, we've been discovered. Look. Somebody found us. A couple of them found us. Uh oh. Oh, they're coming in. Gosh, they smashed that window really quick. We gotta get out of here. We're hungry and uh, overweight as well. Yeah, I am running. Nowhere is safe in this game, it turns out. What's in here? Oh, lockers. Some pants. Some earbuds. A school bag! There's another belt. A pillow. Okay, we can transfer some of this stuff into our bag. A hand axe can go in there. A garden saw can go in there. 
our, our golden earrings, these planks. We're gonna have to run for it, right? So we're gonna try to get rid of as much of this stuff as we can. Guess what? I'm out. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're a little bit tired, but we're gonna try to um, run away again. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's very foggy out here today. are dangerous. But there's one right behind me. I hear him everywhere. Oh, come on. What are you doing out here? You got infected in the middle of the woods? Oh, come on. Really? Why is there just like one or two zombies deep in the woods here? They're out here eating squirrels. They must be. Hey, we have axes and stuff, so I could chop down some trees and we could start making... Make our way towards those lakes so that we have drinking water. Do some foraging and some farming and shit. I don't think I have any pots or anything, though. I hear more bad guys. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Okay, I have no idea where I am now. We got the the cover of lots of fog. Oh no. Oh no. We approach uh, some sort of area here that's all fenced off. And this can't be. Oh, do you know what? This fenced off area is the construction yard, isn't it? So it's pretty hot around here. We're going to want to dip down and hide in some of these trees, I think. Need a safe place to rest. It's a lot of zomboids, yeah. Does it fly? Hang on a second. Oh, I missed him. Son of a bitch. He's on my mouse. Ready? Oh, I missed him again. Shit. Oh, hang on a second. My, um... There we go. The ultimate hunter. Yeah, I know. Try it. I don't even think I can climb this fence now. I think we're stuck in here. Oh no, it's fine. Oh my lord, chat. I can't even move. There's one guy like right behind me constantly. I can hear him. Oh fuck, they're in here too. Why are they in the woods though? 
is what I would love to know. Like, what are they doing out here? And how are they... Like, how can these guys see me? I'm not even being that noisy, am I? My sneakers on? They're waiting for me. Yeah, I know, but it's, like, so dumb. Should be able to find a spot in the game where there's no zombies, right? Like, what's he... Like, okay, why is he here? What, what is the purpose? Why is he there? They're vibing. Well, vibe somewhere else. Why do they have to be in this dense forest where there's nothing? Okay, we're going to keep cutting this way to try to find these lakes. I think once the audio stops, it means that they've ceased to pursue you, right? Is that right? We're going to collapse with exhaustion soon. I know, we're going to have to sit down a minute, right? Oh, come Okay! What? They're just following me all the time! Like, you can't shake them off? What the fuck is this? This this game is just fucking stupid sometimes. I'm sorry. Like it 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 cannot find the balance of fun. Like you're just constantly I've spent how long now? Like 20 minutes walking away from zombies. That's the whole game. There's nowhere you can go to to set up or do anything. Games are supposed to be fun. According to these devs, no. You're meant to just slog through this fucking garbage. It's fucking stupid. You're in the middle of the fucking woods. Like, how do they follow you? They made it very difficult on purpose. Who fucking wants to play it like this, though? Masochists. Only. Oh my god. Well, old Hogan's dead. He survived for two miserable days, accomplishing very little. And when I found a spot that I could potentially hide in, magically the zombies found me, which is fucking stupid as well. You can't get away from them. I don't think you can ever get strong enough to, to really even fight them. Yeah, I slept twice, actually. I slept twice. But you, you can't carry anything. You, you carry one band-aid and you're overburdened. Play it in sandbox? It's more fun? What's the difference? I wasn't carrying too much stuff, though. I barely had anything. You create your own game rules? So what kind of, like, options are there? There's a lot of him to eat. He's overweight. You can have less and weaker zombies, so, but survival is the way you're meant to play the game though, right? You have to focus on getting a car at the start? The 
If you have to force the rules to make the game fun, then the game isn't fun. Well, exactly. I mean, that's a, if you play it on the setting that is recommended, I don't even think it is a fun game. The 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 it, the impossible balancing act. It's just it, it's too much. You spawn in and immediately there's fucking zombies everywhere that are hard to fight that you can't do shit against. Like uh, it, like how do you even get a, a heads up in it? I could, I selected the combat play mode. Did I? No, I'm sure I didn't though. I, se I selected Survivor. Stealth and using actual weapons. I'm okay, stealth. It's not fucking Hitman though, is it? Like the their aggro range is enormous. They track you down. They hunt you in a dense forest. I mean, what there's no stealth in this game it feels like. Survivor mode is for combat playing. So... So we play builder mode? Construction, exploration, and farming focus? What does that mean? There's less zombies? Custom sandbox. To tailor design your own difficulty and play style in Muldraw. So zombie count normal, zombie distribution urban focused. So are these all the default ones? Time, world, water shut off 0 to 30 days, electricity shut off 0 to 30 days, house alarms frequency sometimes. Okay, so if the population, if the di zombie distribution is urban focused, why were there so many zombies up at the at the, the sawmill? Apocalypse is vanilla mode. Oh, right. So the one that I played wasn't... Stealth focus, short... Okay, so Survivor is meant to be powerful combat and longer lifespan. I mean... A challenging playstyle based on... Project Zomboid's previous what? Survival mode. Stealth focus, short lifespan, combat best avoided. I lasted two days. There were like three zombies at the sawmill. Man, no, there wasn't. There was huge packs of them. Did you not see? We had to kite them through the woods. So Survivor is default, yeah. Based off the last build, this new build plays slightly different. Try Builder to see if it's better. Construction. I would like to actually try to construct stuff or maybe make a base or something. It's a more relaxed experience, apparently. Okay, let's try it out and see if it's any different. We'll go for Park Ranger again. Let's actually just make the same guy again, right? You can't... Uh, we, I would have had to save him. Over was it o overweight that we had last time? Overweight. And then we had what? What was the? What did we? Oh yeah, outdoorsman. Outdoorsman. Okay. Lynn McClellan. Park Ranger Lynn McClellan. With the. Uh, it's a this is a male named Lynn Lynn McClellan. Okay, sure. I had obese. Yeah, I know. Okay. I took no positive or negative traits? I did. I took some, yeah. I took some. I took Park Ranger which came with a whole bunch, right? Okay, so this so this should be more relaxed apparently. We'll see. Shoes and socks I don't need. There's a magazine that we could grab. Or do we even grab one? A leak? 
we probably should grab a can opener, right? We'll put this meat cleaver on our belt. Do we want to bring an empty mug for water? Oh, look at all of these. Canned beans, canned chili, canned soup. We're going to be eating for days. Should we grab this cooking pot as well to take with us? And a dish towel. Okay. Oh, where are we now? Okay, so this is... Um... It's got like a brown fence. It's got a brown, a little brown fence with a driveway and a garbage can at the end of it. Just gonna see if I can find out where I am. Oh, I'm here. So I'm actually at isolated house. There's a farm over here, North Farm that we could go to. There's abandoned cabins and there's the train station. So this path behind the house would take me to the farms. Farm is good. Okay. Let's go see what's over here. So it's just back out this way, right? Are there zombies at the farm? But we could clear out the farm and then just like sort of uh, build some stuff to help us survive. To fucking fly. Hang on a second here. Oh, he's too fast, man. I don't know how he knows it's even coming. Can opener. Did I get the, did I take it? I'm sure I took the can opener. Yeah, I got the can opener. Can't even kill a fly. <laughs> I know a story of my life today, the worst. Can only survive. Okay, here one bad guy. Put all the stuff in the backpack. What all the canned food and stuff. The dish towel this we'll do some foraging when we get out here we don't want to do foraging too close to bad guys though what are we looking for materials mushrooms berries animals and fish baits <laughs> this is our whole life out here by the way oh i hear a bad guy Okay, got some tree branches. All right, nice. There's a leather jacket here. Okay, let's rip all this clothing up. Nice. Okay, my foraging was cut short. The farm should just be over this way. What's our guy's name? Lynn McClellan? That's a pretty cool name. Are you guys uh, happy with this naming? It's no old Hogan, granted, but... No, okay, sorry. Okay, this is the farm. We're coming up to the farm here right now. Watching me play this with Pyrian would be amazing. I don't think Pyrian would really um, like this game. I mean, he might. I don't know. So what's all this? Is this just soil? There's got to be some farming equipment at the farm, right? How would I know? I don't know. I flax, um, 
Flax has very specific tastes in games, right? And no patience, yeah. He might like this if he could play it, like, with a lot of people. It's farming simulator all over. Um, right, so hang on. So, yeah, we're coming up to the farm here. This like, this, like, weird baseball diamond, and then the farm and shit is all over here. He hates fun. I don't think he hates fun. I think he just doesn't... He, he doesn't... Uh, he wouldn't suffer through a game, you know, like... He just knows what he wants to play. We get chickens. You think there's a bad guy in here? No. What if we lived inside this chicken coop? With the fence and stuff? Could be good. Oh, look at the... F look at... There's already some farming and stuff done here for us. Nobody locks their doors here. There's a plank in here. So we can just drag this directly into our backpack. There's a welder mask, a small metal sheet in here. Oh, look at this. There's a club hammer. Let's put this on our right belt. And there's a lug wrench in here as well. Let's put that in our backpack. Okay, we're a little bit overburdened already. Equip the welder mask, you think? Okay, cool. Now we look like um, somebody out of a horror film. There's the whole house here, too. So we could grow some crops if we find some seeds and stuff. Okay, the house's inhabitants are still here. We might have to smash the window. The plank is really heavy. Okay, I'll drop the plank then. Oh, hello. Oh God. Oh yeah, we got him. Good. Sweep and clear. What's spooky up here? Let's turn all the lights on. Clear. Clear. Wow, we can actually sleep in a bed tonight. There's bunk beds in here too, wow. It's a pillow. All right, it's all clear up here. It's all clear here. It's a bathroom here. Some foundation. Some vitamins. Ooh. Okay, you never know when we might need like a, a top up of some vitamins. Just live here. Yeah, I think we will. There's a jar lid, a pencil, um, a hand torch. Let's grab that. An empty jar. Some canned carrots. Another can opener, some matches and utensils and shit. A baking pan, empty cooking pot, a frying pan, a timer. Nothing in the fridge, but the fridge is for now working. 
And a flashlight in here, too. Okay, let's put the flashlight in here. We got the hammer. We want to put this on the um, belt right. Magazine, ripped sheets. We got tree branches, bottled water. We got a club hammer as well. There's another belt here with a short skirt and socks, a CD and a pillow. Cooking and engineering books. Not bad. We got a magazine that we can put there. With some chips and stuff. Let's close the window. Okay, can we live here? Let's see why not. We got a fairly heavy load. So we can put sheets. Motherfuck. Where is he? He's like right in my face. Terry, how did he get in here? Fuck. <laughs> he's up my butt. I don't know where he's gone now. You know, let me know if he's on my face. Get some chopsticks out. Shit. The worst. Okay, in here is all clear as well, looks like. For now. So we want to chop down some... We don't have an axe or anything though, right? We could make one, or we could try to go to town. We could do some supply runs to town. How far away are we from anything, though? From the farm? There's like a, a further over. We have neighbors. There's like a little warehouse over here. There's those old cabins and stuff. And then if we hit the main road from here, we're pretty close to town, actually. There's a large warehouse that we could get to, parking lot. Could scope it out maybe see what it's like there's a big lake we need like some tarps and stuff right okay we'll do we'll drop a lot of stuff off at the house yeah that's a good idea and then we'll start to um can you get like bed sheets and stuff what do i need to what sheets do i need to uh cover up the windows and stuff so that they can't see me in here Antidepressants as well, nice. There's a bandage and painkillers as well. Didn't even look up here. Just sheets. Can I get them off the twin beds? Should I disassemble these twin beds? No, it's not a solar panel. I think it's just a roof, like a roof tile. Nothing in there. Some long socks. They're usually in bedrooms and stuff. Okay, we don't need the lights on though, right? Um, right, okay, so we're gonna put all of our food here. And what should we have? Some soup? Where is it? Open can soup? Can opener? Ah, oh, here it is. So we can just, uh, drink all of this you can control shift click items like in windows all right okay good fresh food we want to keep fresh in here some chips tree branches and stuff 
with some salt. So in here we can put our uh, club hammer, can opener, ripped sheets. No, there's a baseball bat in here. We can put that on our back, right? Okay, let's put some of this stuff away. We don't need to carry around with us. Lug wrench. Keep the vitamins on us, I guess? Oh, right, okay. Bandages and stuff. Put some chips in here, too, that we can eat later. The empty tin can, we get rid of. Painkillers, we'll put in here. Suture needle, bandage. Ripped sheets, tree branch, I don't know what we use that for. Hammer, baseball bat, and my meat cleaver as well. Okay, good. So we're good to go. It's getting dark. Should we sleep? Sleep and go in the morning? Okay, let's sleep before we get too tired. I don't know what time it is. We need to go get a watch. Or at least an alarm clock. Is this, is this morning or is it turning night? I can't tell. Uh, we want to go this. We want to go over to our neighbor. Bitch. Okay, I'm going to get the baseball bat out. Sips versus fly for the whole stream. Shit. No. Nine. You need to find an axe. Or craft an axe. And then we need to find some seeds too to do some farming, right? Is this easy mode? This is builder mode, which is apparently meant to be more relaxing. I just want to do stuff in the game. Like, I feel like I don't mind, like, the... Well, I do mind it. I'm just, like, I haven't played the game much. So, like, I, I'm no good on the on the super hardcore survival mode, you know? Like, I actually just want to try to build some stuff and, you know, actually have fun playing the game. Nice. Jacket, pants, sneakers, and a tank top. There's another guy over here. It's old Farmer Rex. He's dead too. This guy's got a lumberjack shirt. Okay, good. We wanna do we wanna rip up all these clothes? Where's the other one that I just killed? Is he f back here somewhere? Where did his hot bot go? Oh, it's here. Make a zombie dome. Don't tempt me. Okay, let's see what's in here. I think there's like a little, this is like a barn or something in here, or it's like a storage shed. And then there should be like a little house around here too. There might be some stuff to loot in here. Let's take a look. Hello. This guy, look at this. We can actually 
we can disassemble this, but we can pick it up and take it with us too, right? There's another hammer here, some nails. We'll take the nails. Take this paper clip, who knows? Might need it. Anything in the oven? Salt, some vinegar, dish towel, empty bowl, an empty jar, and some cutlery. Take both of those. Can we take this TV? Oh man. Okay, I'm carrying a TV. So we can plug the TV in at home and watch TV, right? And learn stuff? Oh. Here we go. Look at all this crap. A hand fork. Sure. All right. Good haul. Let's go home. We got some seeds as well. We can plant some strawberries. Do, 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 do. You got some seeds as well, nice. Okay, so that's that place cleared out, more or less. Oh, look, there's a little tent here. Wait one frickin' second. Uh, I think the combat on this mode is much better, right? You can just like one shot stuff. Look at this, he's got a hiking bag. And military boots as well. Well, let's grab this magazine. Any injuries? No. Very minor damage, apparently. Grab this pop. Grab a beer can. Wait, does the beer can actually have beer in it? The water bottle, too? There's a free fire pit here. Let's grab this cooler as well. Oh, stuff on the ground shows up in the loot menu? Oh, okay, cool. We'll grab this cooking pot with water. We're going to barely be able to make it back. So we got this TV too. Actually, let's just come back out and get it in a minute. So it's so close to our house. Something doesn't feel right. We have some minor damages to our body. <laughs> it's like Death Stranding gameplay. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Really good. What a lunge, eh? Okay, I'll close the door. And um, I'll get a TV set up in here. Where's the best place for me to set up a TV? Underneath here? By the window? Okay, perfect. That just leads out into there. So we want to put some 
We want to put some, put up a tent. <laughs> I don't want to put up a tent. I'll put some tents in here though. Uh, meat cleaver, we've got dirty rags. We can wash them in the sink. Magazines, we got the school bag, but we've actually got the hiking bag, which is even better. Shoes, we got two tent kits in here. I mean, we could take a tent kit with us, but they're heavy. Thread, water bottles, shoes that we don't need. Ripped sheets, pop, magazine. There's the beer can here too with the cooler. You need to cover the window? Yeah, I don't know how to do it though. I, like, where do I, um, where do I do that? Put my beers in the fridge as well. My policy. I'm bleeding. Oh. How did that happen? Did I get attacked by something? Find sheets. Yeah, I will. Oh, I fell down after jumping the rail. All right. Okay, open the canned chili. I'm going to eat all of it. Okay, I got to get rid of some more stuff here. I got the school bag that I can get rid of. Is there anything in it? Yeah, there is. So I have to put it on my back first to get all the stuff out of it. Where can I put my books? Oh yeah, I can put all these books up, up in here, right? I've got some expert farming literature, advanced farming literature. We're going to be farmers before you know it. You can also put the bag on the ground and transfer it from there. All right, okay. Okay, our left shin is hurt. Okay, so we want to put this school bag where did I put the, uh, where's the big bag? The hiking bag. This is the one I want on my back. And then we can put the... Hiking bag. Threads. The school bag can go in here. We've got rip sheets, paper clips, nails and stuff magazine a hand fork an empty tin another can opener that we must have just taken into our inventory okay we should be good all right we're tired we're drowsy we're gonna go have a nice lie down in the dark sleep quality good yes Can zombies climb stairs? Yeah, of course they can. Okay, so next up we're going to go up to the road here. There's like a little path that we can follow and we can get to the large warehouse, which we should go check out. Or do we want to go check out the cabins, the abandoned cabins first? There's the abandoned cabins and there's the train station. Maybe we should focus around our immediate area a bit more first. We're hungry again. Oh my god. This is going to be brutal, eh? Oh, hang on. I wanted... Um... I want these. 
strawberry seeds. Okay, and then I want to put the school bag back in here. Should we plant some strawberries? Unpack them? We have one seed? That can't be right, chat. Start the farm on the roof. Uh, we're just going to start it over here, I think. Oh. Wait, none of this stuff is actually ready to go? So I need to find a trowel, right? No need to go outside. Don't I want to go outside sometimes, though? Like, isn't my guy going to go crazy if he doesn't go outside once in a while? No. I would, too, yeah. I need to sometimes. As much as I don't like going outside, I would have to go outside sometimes. Okay, we're going to go find these, these old cabins and see if there's anything there. How is our uh, baseball bat doing? condition it's like half honestly I, this so far has been much better than the um, the other mode the other one's just too hard man it's just crazy like I guess if you play the game a lot and you know what you're doing it's probably okay but I ain't that soldier This is builder mode, yeah. Is do you think builder mode is uh is more fun? You're not meant to fight at all in this in that one? All oh, right. That's that was my mistake fighting. Got to learn the basics first. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely the case. Okay, there's no loot to be found in here. These are just Abandoned cabins. We'll go down to the train station next, I guess. Builder mode is for PABs. How dare you? Nothing in this box either. It's all empty. I guess maybe you could like restore the cabins if you if you were that way inclined. Start with the strong trait in Apocalypse and you're fine for fighting. So what's the difference between... What are like the rule sets for Builder then? Because stuff seems to just almost get one shot. In this. This game is a lot like Hitman 2, yeah. Not so much Hitman 3, but definitely... There's definitely some Hitman 2 here. It's just easy mode. Alright. There's less zombies, and what, are they easier to kill, or is it because I got a baseball bat? Is the baseball bat, like, a, a really good one? I can't believe the streamer wants to have fun, I know. Fuck. Curse me. And the horse I rode in on, right, Corey? Imagine wanting to play a game that's fun. I mean, I guess it's, I guess, like, there's something to be said for, what are these, toilets? A rubber band. I don't know, do I need a rubber band? Maybe just remember that there's a rubber band there. Wow. This place is very abandoned as well, turns out. Like there's a couple of boxes, but not much else. There's a double barrel shotgun in here and a candle though.
grab this battery too. Matches could be good. There's a radio here. I think I have a radio at home already, but you can't climb these counters, I don't think. Hey Sips, Hi. are you gonna be looking at Steam games today? If so, mm. could you check out my game, Stormrite PLS? It's a Skyrim inspired open world RPG, you might like the look of it. Hey, Curd78, thanks so much for the 10. I wasn't planning on it, but I could look at it at some point. Hey, thanks very much for the donation, I appreciate it. Stormrite. Sounds good. What's this place? Oh, isolated house where we started. We started in the isolated house. We need to we need to go back there and try to find some farming stuff, right? Would be good. And if we have a baseball bat, we have a better chance of fighting stuff. We also have this cool welding mask. Maybe we just want to set up closer to the town. If building mode is a little bit easier to fight zombies in and stuff. Maybe we want to be closer to the action, not so isolated, even though there's a ton of stuff in that house now, right? And a car, yeah, it'd be fun to drive a car for sure. Can you paint my house and wash my car while you're at it? I'll donate five bucks. And that's not a good deal. Here's a car, look. Found one. Can I play your dragon based MMO on stream? <laughs> sure. Oh. He's got, uh, here we go. Let's put these bad boys on. Let's wear this one on our left ring finger as well. Uh, let's rip up all these clothes. More sheets. There's a key on the ground here. Oh, we want to put this on the key ring, right? The lock is, is broken. Oh. The lock is broken on that one, unfortunately. Um, there's nothing there, so we want to keep following the road down here, I think. There's going to be a house pretty soon. We're getting a little bit tired. You can drive in this game. The whole car is broken. Yeah, I know. Everything about it is busted. The what's the black dot on my forehead? It's um my pet fly. His name is Marty Mick. What about this van? Look, they're trying to get in here. somebody else in one of these I can hear some thumping my welding mask oh look let's wear this now we can see what time it is where's my welding mask 
he ripped it right off me. There's a duffel bag here too. Could be good. Capacity 18. Should we check this car? The trunk is open. Maybe the key is inside. What's Sugma? Um, where is all this banging coming from? In here? Oh, upstairs. Somebody else up here. Oh, it's like shelves and shit in here. Where is he? I can still hear some banging. Is he outside? No. Did I get scratched? No, I didn't. Look at this, a gold chain. Nice. Knee length dress, a letter opener. Look at all the bling on this zombie, this dead zombie. It's crazy. Okay, let's see if we can find the keys to this van. There's a newspaper here. So we want to just close curtains where they where where they are so that we can have lights on and stuff. Take the curtains so that we can cover our windows. Oh, are we going to are we actually going to live at the farm? I suppose we probably will, right? All right. We've got our own TV, so we don't need that. Let's have a look around and see if there's any food in here that we can eat. There's an, a fresh egg that we can eat. Mmm. Delicious. That is nice. Let's put this duffel bag in here. Put this radio in here. What else are we carrying that's very heavy? A double barrel shotgun. That'll do it. Can we put that in the bag? Yeah, that's great. Okay, we now have sheets. I'm gonna take these curtains as well. We're gonna take them home. We're gonna install tons of here we go. Let's open this canned corn. Mmm. I'm eating all the canned corn. Do we need sugar? There's a roasting pan, a timer, a saucepan. Some dry raman. I'll eat it. Okay, the curtain bandit has struck. Can we rest here for a bit? Yeah. Okay, let's go upstairs. Not enough soap, so it's slower to wash all my stuff. 
Did I steal any beef curtains? That's disgusting. That's gross. Football is life. Okay. Carpentry. A nice carpentry book here too. A pen. Nothing on these shelves. Just gonna clear out this house as best we can. Brick toys, socks, pillow, pants. Add a sheet. No, I don't want to add a sheet. I will take these curtains though. Having a having a vehicle would be great, right? For getting around. Make life so much easier. And a pencil. I don't want a pencil. What's in here? Oh, it's here. That's why. Okay, look at some beta blockers and eyes makeup if we ever want some. I didn't take it though. Check the zombie for car keys. I did no car keys pretty sure I checked the one up here too there's a screwdriver that though which is pretty good uh oh time to go feeling drowsy okay that's pretty good. So we are at the house that we started at, pretty much. The isolated house. It's 1.40 in the afternoon. It's 19 degrees out. And we're going to head back to the farm. I'm carrying way too much stuff. I know. We're going to go drop a bunch of it off. We're going to go back to the farm and set up all these curtains. Make it safe. And then, do we need to set up, like, perimeter walls around the farm so that we can have some safe farming areas and stuff? Uh-oh. What do we have here? digital jeans no car keys or anything oh where is this oh I see it's like a little um they were building a new house we're like in this field so it's just up this way to get back to the farm we're hungry we're high exertion we can barely jog I'm gonna sit on the ground for a minute Look at the water evaporating. That's awesome. We're very tired as well. I was hurting for curtains. I was, yeah. Well, this is much easier than the other one. The sur the the crazy survival one is just too hard like was it apocalypse or, or actual survival? It was, it was just insane. I guess the play style is much different, right? You don't really... You want to just be, like, ducking in and out of houses and, like, almost like uh, Dead by Daylight style, right? Running away constantly and then just squatting places and eating and surviving. Oh. Hello. gone <laughs> Jesus ok 
Okay. It's still a bit of a trek. It's still a bit of a trek. We have a lot of stuff on us. We're bleeding. Oh, no. Our right thigh has been scratched. Okay. Good. Okay, I'm going to eat all these eggs as well. Another fresh egg. Change the dirty bandage. Oh, it gets really dark. It's 420. It's like pitch black. Or is it because we're in the middle of the forest here? It's quite a big forest before we get to the... Uh, before we, we get to the baseball diamond. Try to find a TV. I got one. I set one up at my house. We're good to go. We're unpleasantly hot right now. There, that should help. We just got our ranger shirt on. We're exhausted and we can barely move. We're feeling queasy now. We're seriously injured as well. Critical damage, apparently. Are we about to die? Time to take a nap in my house? I don't even think I'm going to make it. Because we're just carrying way too much? I know, I gotta, I gotta get rid of some stuff. I find all this cool stuff though, I want to keep it, you know? My HP's going down. So what do I need to do, just sleep? Sleep on the ground? Uh oh. My HP is still going down. Why is this? Terminal damage. Why was I losing HP? I survived for less time on easy mode than I did on the other one. Yeah, this game fucking sucks, man. <laughs> it's so bad. Jesus Christ. It's just impossible. Carrying too much stuff. Fuck me, man. Like, what the hell? It's miserable. It just fucking is not fun at all, unfortunately. Like, it looks like it could be, but... Play Space Crew. What the hell are we going to do now? I got to go pretty soon, actually. It's a shitty runescape. You need to get bags. I had a bag, though. Scratches and dirty bandages. Oh, my God. If you're hurt bleeding with dirty bandages around and overexerting yourself, so you... Oh, man. It takes that... The farm is cool, but it's so far away from everything. You can't, like, you can't do anything. I guess we needed a trowel, right, to uh, to dig up dirt and plant some seeds and stuff. A quick king of retail. Once you find a place to live, use the boxes to store all your loot. Yeah, what uh, the crops take ages to grow. What what about like um. You know, when you still, like, what stuff would you normally take with you? Like, just a couple of bandages and maybe a bit of food and stuff? And then, like, a bag on your back just to get you started so you can gather stuff, but never go over the, uh, the weight thing? Just find food as you gather and eat it. One weapon, one bag, bandages, a snack, and some water. Just a weapon and a bag and a car. 
You need to get gas and stuff though, right? Fuck, man. Holy shit. Why is it so hard? It's just like, it's just impossible. State of Decay 2 is so shallow and boring. I mean, I, I like, I, things I like about this game are like uh, how much stuff there is and how many things you can interact with, but I mean, they can't, you just can't get to any of those. Like, I, we haven't built a single thing. Like, we placed a TV. Would be great as well once co-op is working properly. What, does it not work pop properly right now, Rave? Solo? So what did we do? Builder. Builder, but we didn't manage to get any building done. What's studio? Where all the best movies are filmed. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we'll start here again. Um, what are like, is there like builds in this game where like people are like, use this build or, or anything or? It took me five deaths to start enjoying the game. Okay, well I'm on what, two? Stop starting in Muldra. Wait, where, where, where should I start instead? Is it, is the, is there a better, better place? Riverside? Rosewood? West Point? <laughs> oh man, I'm getting pictures of the baby sent to me. Start on suck on these. Understanding the mechanics will save me a lot of frustration. I think I understand some of them, not West Point. What is the easiest one? All strength, 19 ADP, power, stance, great swords. Riverside is the easiest. Okay, I'll try Riverside. So where is Riverside? Is, is this area here? Commercial rent. There's a dock. Another dock. The school, sweet shop, church and cemetery, farmhouse. There's options here for sure. Okay, we'll try Riverside. Okay, and what, um, select occupation and traits. Do I want an occupation? Think about survival like in real life. When you're out looting, grab water and food. Other things are bowls and pans for water that you can fill. Carpenter. Okay, carpenter, and then we can spend two more points as well. Outdoorsman. Fitness instructor. Nurse is good. Burglar profession gives you quick access to cars because you can hotwire them. Cat's eyes is nice. Better vision at night. Okay. So... We're just going for all of these. Carpentry, fitness, short, blunt, and strength. Once you get a car, you want to get out of the city since it's the most packed area of zombies. Yeah, but to go where, though? Where do you want to go to with your car? Are there spots that are that have stuff in them where there's no people? Just farms and shit like that. Disneyland. Find a well or a river and then just build a house. Oh, you live in farms and then you go to the city by car. So you just load up your car with with enough gas to get in and out. Yeah, I know it's one big interconnected map. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go like this then. Latasha Eli is our next person. Um... Sure. It's a it's a female. It's a female. You get scratched and then you die. Okay. We're starting with a female this time. This is our third one. Good luck, Latasha. Yeah, well Hogan's dead. He's not coming back. Hogan has ceased to exist in this world, just like that. This is how we die on builder mode. 
Man, I feel like this, I will not let, uh, even though I've already rage quit out of it, I will not let this game get the best of me. I'm going to become that guy who painstakingly plays Project Zomboid for years and years and years. And eventually gets okay at it. Okay, we don't want any of this stuff. But maybe we could fill a um, a kettle with water. To help us survive. Um, and then let's get a bread knife. <laughs> for us, our weapon. Some canned tuna as well. Uh, there's a plunger here, too. There's, there's beds and stuff here. So that's a full sheet. We don't want to live here though, do we? In in the middle of a trailer park? It's going to be too much, right? What we what we want to do is we want to go from place to place. Oh my gosh. Oh god. We want to try to... Oh, yeah. Black choker. For sure we're wearing that. Okay. Is that a silver nose ring as well? Let's fucking get that shit on here too. Nice. Okay. Uh, necklace as well. Yeah. Yeah. Put that on my finger too. Nice. Okay. Cool. Oh, is somebody in there? Uh, we need an item in our left hand. Um, can we do it like this? Oh man, already? We're already bleeding? That's crazy. Okay, let's rip up uh, all these clothes. Yeah, yeah, I'm bandaging. I'm bandaging. We managed to cut our hand already. Okay, so I can climb through now. Have a quick look around. Oh yeah. Okay, these things we need, right? For farming. Let's drink this orange soda. Do some loud, some loud ass burps and get the zombies after us. Okay, I'm gonna eat this broccoli too. Okay, I will grab this can opener. I'm gonna drop this. What's this music? It's like it sounds like fucking river dance music. Oh. Here we go. This is the one I want. Let's see if we can get in here. It's locked. Oh shit. Maybe one of these old, <laughs> one of these firefighters has the key. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I love that they're inside of a burnt down house. Oh, I love that. Okay. Yeah, I'm wearing it. 
This will keep me safe. How do I pick up this hat? Okay, I'm getting it. Oh, fuck. Why does it take so long to pick up the firefighter helmet? Then to just put it on. Okay, I'm already overburdened. I have picked up nothing, by the way. Like, most of the stuff I'm wearing, right? Oh, you can't wear this at the same time. Okay. Oh, he's out. Okay, nice. <laughs> I just want the key to this this fire truck if it's in here even. It does not appear to be in here. Oh, I could have just walked in here the whole time. Does he have a key? Not that I saw. To be fair, I was looting him pretty fast. Oh, yeah. He does have a key. Um, it looks like we're in good shape here. No, the engine's fucked, by the way. No fuel. Hey, I have the key, though. Oh, did I leave the key in the ignition? Okay. And there's nothing back here. Check the glove box as well. There's a wallet and an empty note. Okay. I'm um I'm a bit moist. You're doing great, Dad. I'm moist somehow. Okay. I'm bandaged up too. Places are all locked up tight. Can't even open that one. Get in here. How do you even get in here? It'll eventually open. What, if you just keep trying it? I'm at um, a trailer park in in the Riverside area, which is um, where am I in relation to other stuff? Am I right on the Riverside? No, I don't appear to be. Am I s somewhat outside of town here? Is it this? No, no. It's like a parking lot. East. I'm east of Riverwood. Okay, there's houses there. There's like a big mall or something over here. I'm east, did you say? There's a racetrack over here, train station, food market, like this area? West, you meant. Oh, right, okay. There's a house by the lake. I don't see the area that I'm in right now. Oh, I'm at West Point? Oh, sorry, am I at West Point? So I'm west of here, the trailer park. Oh, I see the trailer park. Okay. 
So there's an auto repair, there's a diner and a gas station, and there's the self storage, and then there's a factory over this way. Okay. Near the auto repair. Okay. There are far less zombies in this mode, isn't there? This is the default town? I always thought that the first one was Mul Muldoon, Muldraw. I thought Muldraw was the was the one. Okay, we're very hot. Fashionably and also um, temperature wise too. Should we check out this auto repair place? There's quite a few zombies there. This I can manage. Knocked his glasses right off. Okay, I'm taking these. Hell yeah. Okay, good. Some glasses. Are there some windows or anything back here? I have to move stuff into my backpack? To free up weight? I don't have anything on me right now, though. No, it's not open. Ah. There's a hoodie here. Do you think the hoodie might be might be better actually? Wear hood up. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Okay, so let's drop the firefighter helmet since it's heavy. It's locked. That's locked. He was having a, a shower back here. <laughs> He's got a bathrobe. Incredible. Man, I need a bathrobe. Okay, so far so good. He's having a toilet shower, yeah. Oh yeah, look at all this. Advanced mechanics and stuff. Let's take these books. Put them in the bag. Get the screwdriver. The coveralls. Ooh. It's like Vault Tech now. Oh, a lighter could be good, right? A tire pump, a toolbox, a jack, all this stuff for cars. I mean, we could just bring cars back here right there's a spare engine parts like we should just leave this and then just fix up cars here right if we if we need to um let's drop this and this um and drop the hoodie as well now that we got this cool jumpsuit How's our bandage? It's dirty. Let's clean it up. Okay, good. Better? Look, here's could be potentially our first car at the diner. Maybe we just grab cars and bring them back and fix them up 
at the auto shop. That could be our first thing to do. Oh. It's a little chef. Nope. He's got an apron. Do you think you can wear an apron over top of your other stuff? Yeah, you can too. I love that. No, it takes the pants off. Sure. I'm just gonna eat all this bread. I'm slowly eating all of the bread. Okay, we're well fed now. I hear some more bad guys back here. Chefs? Ooh, mustard. Just ate all this mustard as well. Why are we in our undies? Um, well, I put an apron on and it took my pants off, so what can you do? Uh, there's a sack here. There's some fresh potatoes. Oh, look at all this stuff. Do we want to live at the diner? Do we live at the diner for a bit? Eggs, I know, yeah. Is he locked in here? Oh, Jesus Christ. They were having an orgy in there. Okay, I'm out. I know when it's time to go. Okay, we could get some gas and stuff from here. Eventually. It's pretty hot around here, though. in his bathrobe. Okay, we're freaked out big time. There's a lot of bad guys around here. I think uh, being able to see a lot better is pretty good, right? Do they have like some sort of uh, neural network or something like that they can tap into and that's why the zombies come to the aid of the other ones? Yes. Sure. They're trying to do a big pincer attack on me. Okay, where am I right now? And where am I heading towards? There's nothing really out this way except for some farms and shit. But we're not really ready to go out to a farm just yet. There's another farm closer by. And then if we take this road down this way, we can get to the factory, which might have some good stuff in it. Uh, and then that'll take us more into this area, the town. Lots of houses. There's another gas station, a police station of spiffos, burgers, and stuff like that. So we want to go this way. Oh, God. They're all still following me. Nope. Wow, the two for one. Oh, wow. This guy's got a helmet on. Alright, I'm still in okay shape here, but I'm just, I've got the whole world kind of be. This one's got an axe. I guess this is good combat. Fuck. It's good combat practice, but I've been bitten, I believe. All right. 
yeah, I've been bitten. And I'm bleeding. Time to bandage up, baby. Okay, let's see what these guys have. A bathrobe? A hand axe. Let's get this into belt right. Let's wear this on our left wrist as well. We've got some slight damage. It's a groin bite. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. We could potentially fight two at a time. I'm dead. No, no, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm fine. Look, we're going to head down towards here with our apron and our rolling pin. No problem. We're going to get a sneak attack. Nice. Sneak attack. It paid off. Don't worry, I don't even need my groin. We're fighting a wrestler here. Okay. Look, there's a rosewood map here. Good. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna take this dirty bandage off. And re-bandage. We're infected as well, by the way. So now that we're infected, does that mean that we have to um, disinfect the in infection somehow? Or are we just going to die? Or will the infection go away after a while? this hat uh oh the whole town's coming after me now. not to worry I have a hand axe okay good good many many people have been slain out here today some more glasses and a v-neck shirt there's a whole bunch of guys here we're back at the trailer park maybe we just like uh get some rest here at the trailer park just try to clear it out a bit wow fighting three of them at the same time is kind of hard Ugh. Okay, my groin bandage is dirty again. I'm really spooked. Spooked right out. Okay, there's a car here. Okay, we live at, at the trailer park for now. There's a flashlight in here. All right. Hello? Um, okay. Have we been in this house yet? Oh, nice. I need these tweezers as well. 
I gotta wash my wound. Um, how do I, how do I, uh, remove this bandage and put the adhesive one on? How do I clean my wounds, chat? With a sterile bandage? Oh, you can't go out that way. Okay, I'm out. Peace on earth. <laughs> you gotta wash your, your stinky pussy wound? That's disgusting, chat. That's so fucking gross. True, though. It's true. You gotta bite your butthole. Oh, man. You guys are on fire today. A gold nose ring. There's another screwdriver here, too. We're slightly uh, overweight now, too. Do I have any other food on me? Um, I'm going to clean a rag with this. Okay, this dirty bandage needs to be replaced as well. <clears throat> okay, good. Well, I say good, we're getting tired. We're peckish, we're feeling a little bit sad, and we're in some minor pain. I was, I've been infected, yeah. The bad guys, they've infected me. this TV. Oh god, let's not turn on these lights. Have I been through here yet? No, look at this. We got some food. 10 days of self-isolation? paper to try to feel better about ourselves. We might even just sleep in here. Use the corn for something else. Like, for what exactly? Okay. Um, wash my long socks. All washed up, nice. Okay, wash myself. Um, matches, a can opener, and a bunch of stuff we don't need. It's fine. Hoodie and pants. Maybe we, maybe we get away with the sleep here. Okay, we gotta remove this dirty groin bandage again. Bandage up one more time. Okay, I'm not sure which one we're at but there's a whole bunch of bad guys oh i know which one we're at actually okay so we're heading over to the storage units we're gonna check out that area we're still in minor pain and we're feeling a little bit sad and we're a nervous wreck and terrified this is all to be expected 
Oh, we just got to find some disinfectant. Or some bleach or something, and then just bleach ourselves. Silly. If you keep trying to open the window, will it eventually open? Oh, yeah. It does. Okay, I'll turn this off. Turn this off to you. There's this can of spaghetti bolognese. I'm eating it all. Spaghetti bolognese. You're doing great, Dad. What's up, Captain Crappy Cunt? It's me, Dr. Dingleberry. Let me see that porthole. Your wet wine. willy wanker. That gushing granny gizzard. That sweet swollen <laughs> snatch. Maybe just a little kiss. No? Jeez. Gosh. That is rough. Hey, thank you so much, Dr. Dr. Dingleberry. I appreciate it. Oh, this one's just open. Is this where I started? There's some chips in here. Time to eat some chips. I think this is the one I started in, is it not? Toothpaste. How the heck do I disinfect my wound? We're sad, but we're not actually tired. Check the bathroom for disinfectant and first aid. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking around for this stuff. Let's see if I can find some. Man, not, not all trailers are built equally. It's true, isn't it? I'm going to wash my apron while I'm here. It's really dirty. Okay, good. Feeling pretty good, actually. Um, we can disassemble the stretcher bed. Sleep rough out in the woods. Oh god, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh god. Drink the bleach. Yeah, no, I want to. Oh, this one's just locked solid. There's no getting into this one. Oh, is it because it broke? Nope. Uh oh. Looks like we got some company in here. Meryl, you left your door unlocked. Okay. This rolling pin on my back. Um, yeah, nice. I'm gonna eat this salmon. She wasn't a zombie. She sure was. Well, anyway, there's nobody around to help her eat anyway. Pop, red wine and stuff. Dish towel, griddle pan. We want a griddle pan? Sleeping tablets could be useful. Could take a full shower. How's this groin bandage doing? Not great. Still need to get some first aid on this bitch. I 
I broke the window. Let's try the kitchen window. Are you serious? This guy's got a security system on his fucking trailer? This is a bigger house. Oh, fresh bell pepper. And a tomato too. Close the curtains. If you close the curtains, will they not know that I'm in here? Trying to get in. They know I'm in here. Okay, let me check the bathroom quick. No, there's nothing in here. We might have to... Oh, shit. They're all over the place now. We're being swarmed. Okay, we're gonna have to go out this way. They broke in. All right. We'll try to check this car. Oh, there's a pickup truck here too. Take the flag. There's some tissue here. Soil. There's a key here. I wonder what this is for. A chevalier. There's a mirror and a credit card in here. We have no key for this. Maybe it's for this. Yeah, this is the right key. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. We got a we've got a car. Right, where do we want to go? Let's go check out this farm, I guess. There is a food market, burgers, police station, gas station in town. So okay, so we're here, so we want to drive there, turn okay. Hospital? Oh yeah, I guess we should go to the hospital. Right? <gasps> oh my god, you cannot drive too fast. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I like that. One less zombie. Okay, there's a farm here. removing my groin bandage and applying a new one whilst I drive my car. Uh, this is, this place is looking pretty hot, actually.
<laughs> I like that. I like it. I'm having fun in the car, yeah. I also want to turn the car off too, right? Farming? There's no medicine cabinet. Carpentry. More carpentry, wood glue. There's a banana here. Yeah, I know my character is bitten. I'm trying to to find uh, a means to uh, get rid of the infection. Toothpaste, tweezers isn't gonna help. Um, there's like a whole bunch of toys and shit in here. Pants. Pants and socks and stuff. Where do you get more sheets from? Why are all the sheets missing? want to close all the curtains take down the curtains for what though I mean we we'll just hold up here for a bit sheets are end game <laughs> oh god we need to have we need a rest to have a little rest We're feeling queasy, depressed, nervous. We're in minor pain. We got a fairly fairly heavy load on us as well. What are we um what are we carrying? Oh, we could wash these rags actually would, would be good. We got a heavy load. Oh, it's because I'm carrying around a fresh onion. I got a rolling pin on my back. What else am I carrying around that's too heavy? Hand axe, rolling pin, and screwdriver? Shouldn't be too much. We got some canned tuna. Oh, the coveralls. Yeah, I guess we don't need those anymore. Let's have a look in here. Oh. I broke it. Um, let's close the window. There's a box of jars, a tire pump, another screwdriver, a shovel, a ball peen hammer, a welder mask, a propane tank as well. Some pretty nice stuff here. Paintbrush and some paint. All right. If we take the curtains down, we could try to hide in here. We need two curtains. And a nice chair too. We just can move a, like a single bed in there. Should we try to move a single bed in there too? Is this my dad garage? A 52.5% chance to break the bed whilst I'm lifting it. I broke it. Oh no. No, I've I've made the simple bed into a into a carryable simple bed.
It's very heavy. Equip a plastic bag as your secondary and open your inventory and you'll have more inventory space. Really? Okay, so now I can go place my simple bed. Do I need the other part of it? Yeah. I'll grab that TV as well. Might as well, huh? It's too simple. <laughs> it's a difficult bed. It's a very complicated bed. Chad, I gotta go soon. This is this has been a better run though, right? We actually have a car and some stuff. It's an IKEA bed. We don't have the screws for it. We can do some farming in here and stuff too. Live in this little house. I'm stuck here forever. No, no, I got my car. I can do runs with the car. Fill up the trunk with all the stuff. Let me go get this TV as well. I'm gonna store loot in the boxes. Yeah, absolutely. There's a whole bunch of books and stuff in this house that I can come back and get after. Okay, now I can place my cool TV here. Wonderful. Oh, that's great. Can you turn it on? Life and living, turbo. Pause TV. Tune in. I think it's like certain times of day you can you can watch stuff, right? Box of jars. Let's put our dirty rags in here. Rolling pin, rosewood map. Got two sheets. Oh yeah, we want to put these up, don't we? Here we go, chat. Look at this. We've done it. If we can find a saw, we can get rid of all these tables and stuff, too. That would be good. Can wear a welder mask. Oh, yeah. Looking great. There's a shovel in here. Tweezers. Yeast. Diamond gold ring. Can tuna. Can opener. Hand axe in bad condition. Rolling pin and screwdriver, they're all in great condition. Oh, I've got another rolling pin as well. Okay. Clean my groin. Oh yeah, I will. So we need to disinfect this wound. We also need to find some uh, a, a source of water, right? We have no. We're we're gonna need to get like some rain barrels or something set up. Look at we got all these fences and stuff. We could make some farms and stuff here. Reading glasses, V-neck sweater. And a level three helmet. Oh shit.
like we got some stragglers. Alright. And we got a wristwatch as well. We don't want to fight too many guys out here. I have the pathogen. Yes, I know. So what we'll do next time is we'll get our truck and we'll go into uh, we'll go into town. We'll go into town and uh, we'll use this as our current base of operations, right? We got like pretty much everything we need here. Can I have a little rest. We're in some discomfort, but shouldn't be too bad. Okay, um, let's do that. Yeah. Isn't there an actual hospital which you can loot? I think there is actually. Okay, so nearby to here. So we're currently in a farm. And in town, there's a school that probably had... There's a hotel. There's a pharmacy, ice cream parlor, clothing store. There's a gated community, Gigamart, a laundromat, a hardware store, Spiffo's, a gas station, police station, burgers. Like, there's a whole bunch of shit over here that we can, we can just run into town with the truck, load it up with stuff that we need. And uh, and build up a nice base out here, too. I'm still infected, yeah, but we're going to try to get rid of the infection, see if we can survive. Yeah? Tec te technically not dead just yet. Yeah. Um, it, was a, it was a weird one. It was an odd, it, an odd... We lost two guys running around near the sawmill and stuff. And then we decided to try this builder mode, which is a little bit easier and uh has actually been a little bit more fun as well i feel like if i play the game enough and get better at it then i could go back to the survival one and see but i'm just not there yet you know yeah seems like chat never played this stressing about infection sips pretty much ignored it and is still fine yeah i think as long as you stay healthy you're fine right or we might just turn like any moment but i feel like we've uh, this has been a lot more fun right like getting sort of safe and set up a little bit you know not a hundred percent dead we're just slowly dying yeah just eat some just eat some healthy food okay well we'll try to get disinfected yeah <laughs> the instant i press resume i'm toast i hope not all right chat listen i better get going because uh i need to uh do lots of dad chores and stuff i think this game just saves on its own doesn't it so i'm fine to just exit it um listen thanks so much for watching the stream i appreciate it i should be back tomorrow um and we can play some more zomboid then it was fun i i haven't played the game that much i remember playing it when it first came out years and years ago and it's changed a lot since it's gotten a lot better for sure um but it is still brutally difficult and therefore a little bit frustrating but we'll keep trying you know points um chat have a good day have a have an enjoyable rest of your thursday i hope you have a good one thank you so much for the subs and resubs thanks for all the donations as well i appreciate all the support uh sorry the streams have been so short but um hopefully in time we'll get back to uh get back to normal i should be back tomorrow for a bit so we'll play some more zomboid then and um yeah have a good one i'll see you then yes okay lol chat lots of love see you tomorrow bye now bye